We've reached the end of the second section of the course. Congratulations and thank you for following along the series whether you started from the beginning or just watched a few videos. It has surely been a long journey and we're not done yet because the section 3 is yet to come. Let's do a quick review of what we've covered so far and then jump into a quick exercise review that I would like you to do if you're up for it. In section 1 of the course we covered the basics of PHP which was beginner friendly. There were a lot of topics that were covered in section 1 some of which you see on the screen right now and this section was mostly oriented towards procedural PHP but also it covered a lot of important topics in more detail. In section 2 of the course we covered more advanced topics of PHP and moved from procedural to object oriented PHP. We covered installing PHP with Docker, objects, classes and principles of OOP, magic methods, PSR, composer and autoloading, traits, statics and late static binding, super globals, MVC, MySQL, SQL and PDO and so on. So as you can see section 1 combined with section 2 covered a lot of topics that should be enough for you to get started working with PHP. There are of course more topics that we need to cover which will be covered in the third section of the course which will be more advanced topics. And also the third section of the course will include the final project that we're going to work on together. Now let's talk about the exercise. In the end of the first section we did a mini exercise where we wrote a small part of the project in procedure. PHP. The link to that video is in the description if you don't remember or haven't watched it. Now that we've covered the object-oriented programming as well as databases, we can do the same exercise using object-oriented PHP. The difference is that I won't be doing that, instead I want you to do it as an exercise. Because a lot of you have asked me to make exercises for the videos, so I think this is a great opportunity for you to practice what you learned so far in both the first and second sections of the course. If you get stuck somewhere or you have any questions please let me know I'll be happy to help you can find my email address in the channel page you can send me a message on Twitter or simply post a comment down below the link to the exercise repository is also in the description so check it out so the goal of this exercise is to let the user upload the CSV file that will contain list of transactions and you need to import these transactions into a transactions table and then display the transactions in this format as displayed on the screenshot right here so it's the same exercise as in the first section of the course the difference is that we're doing it now using object-oriented programming and we're also letting the user upload the file instead of reading the files from the directory you can read through the instructions on your own and if you have any questions please let me know I am providing you some sort of skeleton to get you started and to kind of get you working with this so you don't have to worry about the UI and you don't have to worry about the basic setup of MVC I've already set that up for you so you just need to kind of build the functionality However, if you want to, you can build the entire MVC structure from scratch. That way you can practice more. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. You can just use the skeleton that I provided. I'm also providing the Docker directory that contains the configuration and Docker file and Docker compose to get this project up and running. If you're not using Docker and you're using something like XAMPP, that's perfectly fine. But if you're using Docker, you can use this Docker file and it should work. You may need to make few adjustments depending on what OS you are on. But but it should work for the most part. So please try it out. You can submit the PR directly in the GitHub and I can review it and provide the feedback. You can also just work on it on a separate repository and post the link to the repository in the comments or send me the link directly. Please note that this code is within a branch of 2.33 and this number corresponds to the number on the video and the video that you're currently watching is 2.33 and therefore the exercise is within the 2.33 branch. So just make sure that you're working with the 2.33 branch. So I think this is it for this lesson and for the second section of the course. I may add videos later to the second section if I feel like I've missed something or I may need to make a follow-up video or adjustments and so on. We're going to start the third section of the course very soon so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching my tutorials. If you enjoy and find my lessons helpful and would like to help out and support, please hit the like button, post feedback in the comments and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.